Let's look at Myanmar. The country goes to polls in November as it inches closer to the final day of voting. A new challenger to Aung San Suu Kyi's rule is making headlines. She was once a member of Suu Kyi's party. She's now fighting against her. Who is this leader and what chance does she stand? Here's a report. November 2015. Myanmar's first general election after 50 years of military rule reaches its conclusion. The National League for Democracy wins a landslide victory. Questions are raised on the fairness of the election process. But all sides accept the result as the will of the people. 25% of parliamentary seats are taken by Myanmar's powerful military generals. And Aung San Suu Kyi is sworn in as the state councillor. It's been five years and this Nobel laureate turned military apologist faces her first big test. Myanmar is going to the polls again. The country's second genuine general election. Polling is slated for November 8th, and campaigning is in full swing. 75-year-old Suu Kyi is eyeing another landslide victory. Standing against her is a younger candidate once booted from Suu Kyi's party. Meet Thet Thet Keen, the 53-year-old challenger of the Lady of Myanmar. A student activist, a medical doctor, a businesswoman, and now head of the Youthful People's Pioneer Party. She's promising to transform her country and put an end to autocratic rule. NLD is no longer the solution for the country. And, and then the way the party is run is very chaotic. And then it's very autocratic within the party. One person is uh, making all the decisions without consulting uh, uh, any, any, any members in, in the party. The PPP is promising more jobs, higher wages and lower taxes. It is targeting a broad demographic. The party has fielded Myanmar's first openly gay candidate, a Muslim nominee and also a hardline Buddhist. It is also trying to bridge the rift between the civilian government and the military leadership of the country. So the military, maybe they overreact the situation, but it's not genocide or ethnic cleansing, no. As Thet Thet Keen tries to win public favour in Myanmar's capital, Nepitor, not too far away in the city of Yangon, a Rohingya politician has been barred from contesting polls. Abdul Rashid, the son of a Burmese civil servant, has been disqualified for failing to prove his father's citizenship. This is the pension letter of my father. This is an updated ID of my mother. The Myanmar Election Commission rejected me even though I submitted the candidacy form with all required documents. I don't know what the matter is and I can't find any answer. More than 730,000 Rohingyas are said to have fled the Rakhine state in 2017. Out of the 600,000 who remain, most will not be able to vote this November due to lack of citizenship. No voter lists have appeared at polling centres in Rohingya-dominated areas. The community remains disenfranchised. As the Myanmar military still fights accusations of human rights abuses, the election in November may just be the most crucial and controversial in Myanmar's history. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.